continues with Rick Semler and sports. Welcome back. The Indiana State men's basketball team today was trying to advance to the Arch Madness Championship for the first time since 2014 and just the fourth time in program history. Like he has been all week, Sports 10's Marty Ledbetter is in St. Louis with the Sycamores and has more on their huge MVC tourney semifinal matchup. Hello and welcome back here at the Enterprise Center for day three semifinal day of Arch Madness as Indiana State look to upset the regular season champs, the Bradley Braves. Winners of two straight ISU look to keep that train rolling all the way to the Missouri Valley Conference Championship game. First half, Corvasse McCauley comes out firing. He drills the three-pointer, putting Indiana State in front. Next, Trees possession. Voss, this time from the corner, bang! The NBC Newcomer of the Year was feeling it early. Voss going for a third three and drills it once again with the defender closing out on him. Bradley would take a one-point lead into the break, though. Second half now, ISU trailing by 11 when Cooper Nice starts to get the trees going with the shot and the foul. Coop finished with 11 points in the contest. Cam Henry goes to work from there, getting the lay in and cutting the Braves lead to seven. Later in the half, Cam in the right place at the right time for the putback. Trees down five with under four to go. Rinse and repeat here. Henry with another putback with under two to play, bringing State within two points, 69 to 67. Under a minute now, Corvasse McCauley with the step back. Buckets! ISU leads 70 to 69 with 30 seconds left in the ball game. Indiana State on defense. Bradley's shot is no good, but there's a foul called on the rebound. The Braves would go to the free throw line and hit both free throws to take a one-point lead with six seconds left. Boss trying to be the hero once again as he fires it up just before the horn, but the three is short, and Indiana State falls in heartbreaking fashion, 71-70. to After the loss, Sycamore players expressed their disappointment but say they left it all out on the floor. We really wanted this one, you know, it stings in that locker room, but um, we gave it our all. You know, if, if we would have went out there and, you know, let them push us around, we would have been you know, unsatisfied. But I, I think everybody emptied their tank out there and, you know, you go out with honor that way. It's a great amount of pride, uh, you know, you're taking these guys and this team, uh, you know, for what we've done this year. And, um, you know, this stings, it stinks. Um, you know, but God's got, got weird ways of working, so. You know, just putting my trust in him and trying to understand what's going to be next. Indiana State now waits and sees if they are going to get an invite to the NIT or another postseason tournament so they can continue to play for a little longer. For now, reporting at the Enterprise Center in St. Louis, Marty Ledbetter, Sports 10.